felt like we were constantly having to probably like you guys feel like I mean you kind of have to like no that's not really true or that's well we've tried to do that I mean I've tried to you know I've tried to uh, since I've been here I've been here seems like longer but I've been here two months and uh, one of the things I, I really felt like we needed to do was be a little more aggressive in our, our response to some of the things that were out there and uh, frankly we're not accurate and uh, you know it's the New York Times or, or the Los Angeles Times, which the sports writer out there wrote a yes. really mean, scathing uh, article about yeah. us for the day we got out there, and I was really upset. And I uh, got together some of our folks out there, and we responded. But you know, you can only do so much in that that context. And, and I tried to do something positive about you know the good things about FSU, and they they printed it, but it was like the Saturday after the game or something like that, which I, I knew we had a. You know, I didn't know what we were going to, when we wrote it, I didn't know whether we were going to win or lose. But, and then the New York Times, we actually had a really favorable, and they have a person called a, a public opinion person. And we'd, we'd contacted them, and I'd written a letter to them. Uh, and they finally recognized that they, uh, they, they probably, that reporter, uh, went from reporting uh, to opinion and, and kind of blurred the lines. And um, they recognized that and said something about it just this, this past weekend. And Sorry, I, I yeah. thought that was very positive. I was really positive. And, you know, I've got Browning, I guess you know Browning, working on a, a, an overall scheme of, of a response, uh, you know, that includes not just the, not just the Title IX stuff, but just some other things that we need to advocate about Florida State University. And, uh, you know, includes editorial visits, includes letters to the editor, includes... You know, me going out, uh, talking to various groups and stuff like that. Our board members who who, who are capable and want to do that, the same th so, same sort of thing. So, we're going to try to, you know, uh, I guess, uh, fire up our message a little bit and fire up our activity in that regard. It seemed like the the approach had been kind of reactionary. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was reactionary, and I and I, and and to some extent, you know, I don't blame blaming anybody. Yeah. To some extent, it was it was based upon you know uh, concerns about the the identification of the of the of the individuals involved. Uh, we're obviously uh, like a lot of universities under under scrutiny from uh, the Office of Civil Rights from Title IX issues, and they're looking at uh, you know our response and other things. Uh, so there, I'm sure there was some of that. But now that we've been sued by the individual, uh, I think we can kind of you know. Kind of let let it flow a little bit more in terms of what we believe we we were doing and what we've done we we think we've done correctly. So uh, that's kind of the approach I'm taking on that issue. But on the other side, there's 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 so much good to talk about in terms of what FSU is doing. You know, whether it's the Mag Lab, whether it's our law school, but, but whether it's our 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 school of business, which is going to be a world class place when we get it built, bringing in the kind of folks we're doing the research that we're doing here. All those kind of things are very positive, so I'm looking forward to, to you know getting out and talking about that. You, I know you've seen it all during your career with this, dealing with the media. Were you surprised by the way this thing kind of? You're talking about me now, or the or the no, 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 I'm talking about the Jameis the FSU oh, oh, yeah. athletics. All yeah, a little little surprised honestly at at, at, some at, of the at, the, at some of the reporting that was done. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think uh, there were some folks out there, frankly, who were trying to make names for themselves, and they were using this as an issue to uh, to promote their their agenda. And I'm not, you know, that's uh, I think that's regrettable. Uh, there, you know, uh, I mean, if you look back at the record, I mean, I'm not going to defend Jameis or not defending, but I'm defending Florida State University and what we did, and I think what we did was was appropriate uh, from the standpoint of when we first knew about it, from the standpoint of uh, of the state attorney looking into it and the local police, uh, Tallahassee police, to our own code of conduct hearing, which was done by, uh, I, I consider, the probably preeminent person in the state in, in, uh, in respect and, and integrity, and that's Major Harding, who, was a, a, who did a great job. He looked at all the evidence, 1,000 pages or, or more, and uh, determined that there, he, couldn't, he couldn't determine that there was a, a, an assault. Uh, under the, our code of conduct, so I, I, you look at all of that, and you look at the timing that we did it in, based upon what we information we had to act on. I think we did everything appropriately, and we're going to defend ourselves aggressively in this individual lawsuit. Along those lines, I'm curious too, because I know obviously with FSU, the ACC has a big investment, or ESPN, ABC does, and the, the ACC, and obviously 
they got a lot of criticism, at least from us and from a lot of fans here, about how they went the same issue. Yeah. Whether it was the autograph thing they went on on about before the Notre Dame weekend, you know, you, you saw it. I mean, week after week after week, is mm-hmm. there something that can kind of be done behind the scenes through the ACC to say, hey, you we've, know, you, we've talked got a relationship. We've talked to, him. we've talked to him, and yeah. Stan is Dan Wilcox has done a good job in that regard. Jimbo's been very aggressive, as you yeah. probably know, uh, and so I mean, I, I think we've gone through the right channels. Uh, John Swafford seems to be, you know, interested in ensuring that uh, we get a fair shake from uh, ESPN. Uh, Jimbo's talked to you know some of the folks that uh, criticized us. I know personally, and I know Stan has too. So I think we're doing all we can do in that regard.